Hey guys, Black Widow just came out. It's terrible, right? No, I actually liked it. Now, before you say anything, I don't think it's like the greatest movie ever, the greatest MCU movie ever, but I think it deserves more credit than people are giving it, for sure. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I would go see it and form your own opinion on it, but if you have seen it, let's get into it, and spoilers ahead, by the way. Let me start off by saying that this movie would have been so much better and less confusing to the general audience if it was released a lot earlier in the MCU, like maybe after Civil War. Scarlett Johansson and Black Widow definitely deserve better. Now to start talking about the actual movie, um, it opened with some credits that definitely took me off guard. Not sure if it was in a good way or a bad way with that weird cover of Smells Like Teen Spirit, but I have to admit, it was nice to have something that I wasn't really used to in the MCU. You know, it felt a bit more dramatic or desperate. Another thing that felt like it had a bit more effort put into it was the action. While the action still wasn't perfect, like having that shitty shaky cam still sometimes, it was definitely more brutal and up close, which I kind of liked. So I'm hoping the MCU can keep that stuff and keep improving on it. Of course, there were still the big CGI action set pieces, mainly the Russian prison and the Red Bespin room. And by the way, did they just murder everyone in that prison? Like, they were just doing their job and Nat and the fam dropped an avalanche on them? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I just was confused if everybody just died there. One of the funniest scenes in the entire movie is when Black Widow is driving her car and she's listening to cheap thrills and then she just gets fucking launched by Taskmaster out of nowhere. Like it's so jarring, but hilariously jarring. It's so funny. I, I like laugh so hard when I saw that. It was just out of nowhere. And also, I guess Black Widow listens to Sean Paul. There was also a car chase scene at the end of Act 1 and it was kinda terribly good. Like, Taskmaster is literally just smashing through everything, not giving a fuck. For some reason, it kind of reminded me of when Sonic is running from that truck in Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> it was just kind of stupid fun, I guess. But enough with the dumb action stuff. How were the characters? Actually, pretty great. I like how we got to see Natasha on her own for once. I actually felt like I was learning more about her and who she really is. And by the end of the movie, I can definitely say that I care a lot more about the character than I did previously. There was also Yelena, who I thought was a really nice addition to the cast. I really liked her in this movie. Uh, she had really good screen presence, and I'm looking forward to where she goes as a character. Also, the chemistry everybody had was pretty good. Uh, I liked ScarJo and Florence Pugh together, and I guess that's not happening again because Black Widow is dead. Also, David Harbour was hilarious in every scene he was in. I loved how much he wants to fight Captain America, and I kind of hope he does get to fight Sam Wilson's Captain America someday. Rachel Wise was also really good, and together they all kind of felt like a dysfunctional family. Oh yeah, and Nat knew a random guy whose name I forgot. He was just kind of their personal guy that gets them stuff before missions, but I guess he was alright. Now to talk about the bad guys. So the main villain, Drakov, wasn't really one of those Marvel bad guys that has motivations or anything compelling about him. He's just kind of there to be a dick and get beaten up. Uh, but I did appreciate the metaphors they used on him, you know, showing the oppression men have had on women and how the widows free themselves from the chain of this asshole Dikov. He seriously had some gross lines, like, Girls are the greatest resource on Earth. Ugh. It creeps me out thinking that there are definitely men out there who think like that. Finally, let's talk about Taskmaster. Now, I wasn't completely disappointed with them, but wow. So much missed potential, I feel like. So I'm totally fine with Taskmaster being gender swapped and the Budapest backstory with her being Dreykov's daughter. And by the way, I was a little disappointed with the Budapest flashback. I mean, we didn't even see Clint. I, like, I just felt like it could have been expanded on a bit more with all the hype it's gained and everything. 
Now to go back to Taskmaster, I felt like they didn't really deliver on giving Taskmaster an actual character. I don't even know if she even said a line. <laughs> and yeah, the fighting styles was really cool, like the Cap, Black Panther, Hawkeye. I really liked the uh, Bucky knife flip she did too, but it was kind of just cool for that one moment I saw it or recognized it, and the rest of it kind of just felt hollow. So I'm hoping if this character comes back, she's gonna be a lot better than before and actually become a character. So to talk about the final act for a little bit at Bespin, uh, I liked how they constantly flash back to Melina and Natasha talking over the plan. Again, it was just kind of different for the MCU, so I liked it. I didn't really mind the stupid pheromone smelling thing that much. I know some people really care about it, but I didn't really care. I'm just glad that Dickoff died in a terrible way. You know, burning to death in an explosion, most likely. Um, there was also this post credit scene with Yelena and uh, Val. And I guess it's teasing Yelena and Hawkeye, so yay! I'm actually looking more forward to a project Jeremy Renner is in. But overall, guys, I'm just really glad that ScarJo and Natasha finally got a solo outing. I think it was a great PS for the character after Endgame, so bravo to her. And for the future of the MCU, I'm excited to see more Florence Pugh, and I hope to see the rest of the family too. And even Taskmaster, I really hope that they can improve on the character, so I hope they come back better than ever. Next time I watch the MCU, I'm definitely watching this after Civil War from now on. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10.